I don't know if you remember the livers, I was talking one day on my channel about Sheldon and just how real he was. Like he brought me to tears and I'm not going to go deep into it, but he shared parts of his life and you don't see that a lot in TA. And that's something I really do. Like I want to bring a, a feeling to my channel, a group, uh, a family feeling to my channel. A lot of us feel alone. Uh, we've never had anyone understand <laughs> cryptocurrency. Our family members won't buy it. Our brothers and sisters, our cousins tell us to, to be quiet at Thanksgiving. You know, did you ever deal with that in South Africa growing up? And you know, or, or not growing up, but when you got into cryptocurrency and like, you know, like, how do you stay hopeful every day, no matter what happens in your life? You know, uh, when I started, definitely everyone uh, they laugh at you. You know, they tell you, "What are you doing? You're in the scam." And uh, uh, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. It taught me to like stop giving a crap what people think like stop caring what they think and like go silent so i literally disappeared for like a few months when no one knew what i was doing and uh, i got good at it and uh, i ended up uh, obviously building a little bit of a life with, uh, through it and uh, now all of them put me every single day that's the thing like don't impress anyone stop saying no as well like if i just said no to bitcoin and i never tried it like try it and then decide if you're going to do it or not but stop saying no like stuff's moving quickly and uh, you don't have to impress anyone. You have to impress no one. Like, do it for yourself, keep it quiet. You know, one thing that I've heard a lot of is uh, we don't destroy our own dreams, other people do. And that's the truth. Because they say that you can't do it, it's a scam, then it starts to get to yourself, and then you stop giving up on your dream. Like, go quiet and become incredibly successful. After that, then they want to talk to you, then it all happens. Uh, and the way I keep it in now is I give back. Crypto, and we can sit and say this, like, if it wasn't for crypto, like, it changed my complete life. It, the reason why I'm here, like, I have a booth, my face so is everywhere. Cool. Like, uh, it's all because of crypto. Uh, I am forever grateful for crypto, and I want to give back. So we teach, and that's what keeps me in. It keeps me there teaching. One thing I talk about, or I don't really talk about people, my life kind of went from zero to 60 in like two to three years. You know what I mean? You're waiting, like, the bull run happens, your trades hit, people started talking about me as a trader, my life changed. How do you deal with like the speed? You know what I mean? Because I remember even I remember just seeing you like two years ago, like because that brought me a little anxiety to be honest. Something that hit me because you can now buy almost you know things you know not to be rude, but you can buy things that you never thought before. You can walk into a store and just you know staring at the at the receipt like you used to when you were you know when it, when it all started, you know. But like that also brings anxiety. You know, it's like what do you do with your influence now? You have this this voice. Um, how do you stay conscious in the moment to constantly just like revive and? How did you deal with the, just the big change in your life as it happened, you know? So right before I actually came to the booth now, I was sitting in a room at the back there, like breathing. Like my face is here. Like I'm still in this shock. Remember, I'm only two and a half years in since I've ever tried to touch Bitcoin or anything like that. Uh, and now we got influence, like you said. And it's, it's amazing that I'm able to, uh, I managed to bring the family. I managed to, to change everything in that way and just be around the people that I love. That's what I loved about the money but then you get the fakeness. People that just want something from you, then all these sort of things. So it is amazing, but it also comes with a, a, a lot of learning. And it took me to a place where uh, I had to just love the people around me, the close ones, and I had to look after myself. And uh, it's very important, guys. You become who you surround yourself with. These guys keep me on track every day. When I'm feeling down, they help me. Like they love me, they care for me. Uh, and that's how I can give love and teaching every single day in my, in my stuff. So I don't know how to handle the influence. I have no idea. Like, all I know is I'm going, and all I'm trying to be is a story that you can see me bump my head, you can see me have the success, but you'll never see me quit. And I just want you to see the realness, that it's not okay sometimes. It sucks sometimes. Like, it's, uh, sometimes I want to quit. Like, there's no doubt about it, but it's, uh, it brings me back to crypto changed our lives, and it can change yours. And the way it changed it is it introduced me to the right people. Yeah, it's uh, we, me and you wouldn't be here if we didn't go after our dreams. If I sat on the couch, if you sat, and listen to what he said, two and a half years, I'm telling you too, I used to watch YouTube videos and the person watching the video would be like, I became a millionaire in three years. And I was like, no, you didn't. Like, and I, just, I didn't believe it. But when it happens to you, you have a more appreciation for the idea that anything can happen to anybody. You know, anyone out there, I don't care if you have 300 bucks in your account right now. I don't know if you're squeezing two I pennies. I with 400. <laughs> if you believe in yourself, you're the opportunity. If you think there's no opportunity and you wake up in the morning, there isn't, like, mm. then that's the day, right? Mm. But if you think there is, there is. So like, you create every single moment in your life, stay present. What he just said was absolutely amazing, man. And look, like, you can like really build a life off discipline so, and hard work. So it's it actually, does really pay off. It does, and the way you do it is you're already there. 
Like a lot of people don't know what we actually want. Like I knew that something was going to happen. I didn't know it was in crypto, but every morning I got up and I was like, something big's going to happen. To something me. big's going to happen. And what I said to myself was, I'm going to meet the right person and I need to be ready. So I don't care when it happens. I know it's going to happen and I'm prepping for when it happens. So the big thing about it, guys, is stop asking when. Are you ready? If you have a million dollars in your account tomorrow, what are you doing with your life? Are you going to be happy? Are you still going to be humble? Are you still going to be a good friend? Are you still yeah. going to be a good partner? Start worrying about that stuff. Get that stuff in order. So when it comes, it actually betters your life and, and does not destroy it. Because money, it's amazing, but it can bring out something in you that you're not. And you can get lost and you can get trapped around the fakeness. And so start focusing on what you really want, what you're trying to build and put it in your head that you are there. And when it happens, you're not surprised. I'm not surprised. Like I am surprised, but I'm not like, I'm ready. Like it, I have way bigger goals than this. Like I'm going and going and going. And it's because I, my mind's there already. And I don't know when it comes, but I know who I want to be when it comes. I know what I want to represent. I know what makes me happy every day. Intention. And exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's funny, my late father, he was saying, I used to say, Dad, I'm not a millionaire. I didn't, I didn't make it yet. Like I was supposed to do this, you know, I was 28, 29. Um, it didn't happen for me, I'm 40 years old. Like it took me 15 years to really like fully feel financially free and break out of the rat race, you know? And one thing my dad always says, maybe you weren't ready for it at the time, you know? Like mm -hmm. I didn't have the balanced chi, you know? I didn't know how to deal with my ADHD. I didn't have the discipline to work out every day, but like those things began to change. And I, I, I find it amazing. Like you're there already and then it comes. It's like, mm. it's like opening a door exactly. and we sound like the secret, but like, and some people kind of, you know, it's so cliche, but like, honestly, and I tell people too, if you're having problems, start working out, move your body. You'll create an endorphin. That endorphin will make you feel good. You have one thing you check off in the morning. I worked out. You'll feel good about yourself. Then you'll say, what else am I going to do with my life mm, and where am I going to mm, go? Mm. Um, you're the man, dude. God bless Thank you, bro. You, Thank you for taking up your time. He's super Guys, busy and he still gave quits. us an amazing, an amazing interview, man. You're the my man, brother, I'm proud of you. You too, man. God bless you, brother. Much love, guys. God bless you. Amazing, bro.